use this practice as a tool to get rid of anything that doesn't serve you. Observe what is limiting you from reaching your full potential. It's about getting to a place where you just feel it. If you find that place, your body itself is going to open up for you. What drives you, what scares you, what excites you. There's a big difference between awareness and thinking. The less you think, actually, the more aware you can be of all your surroundings and yourself and others. Why do you do the things that you do? Why are you here? Why are you practicing today? What is up guys? Today we're going to be exploring a, a style of yoga which is called yin yoga, which basically means uh, in short is holding positions for a long period of time, uh, usually two all the way up to five minutes. Uh, we're not gonna go so deep into five minutes, but we are going to be holding poses for two to three minutes. And this routine, you can either do it uh, at the end of a very intense workout. You can also put it uh, after an intense yoga practice. You can do it before bed. It is actually the best time to do this routine. Um, you can also do it in the morning, but I don't know if you wanna be sleepy uh, throughout your day. Uh, you're going to need uh, two blocks to really, really be comfortable on these positions. This uh, type of routine is about being comfortable and about really enjoying yourself and enjoying this time with yourself. And also one pillow or two pillows, or if you're in your bed and you sleep with five, 10 pillows, as many pillows as you like, again, is to make all the positions very, very comfortable. So we're gonna start on a seated position. And you can be cross-legged or in any position that actually feels comfortable. Once again, it is about being comfortable. It is not about getting deep, deep, deep into the positions. Although we are actually, like if you hold that position for long enough, there comes a point where your body opens and you get in the positions. But that is not the main goal. Anyways, uh, place your hands on your knees, stand up tall, activate your pelvis, your mula banda, by sucking your belly in upward all the way up towards the spine, all the way up towards your head, to the third chakra, and all the way towards your head. Place your hands on your knees, send your shoulders up and back and down and relax. And begin focusing your attention on your breathing. Bring your hands to the heart center. Set an intention for this practice. Maybe letting go of something that is in your mind and it's not allowing you to express your full potential or expressing the best version of yourself. Let it go and use this practice as a tool to get rid of anything that doesn't serve you. Slowly open your eyes whenever you're ready. Bring both feet in front of you. We're gonna do butterfly bakasana, but a modified version. You're gonna, instead of bringing the sole of your feet closer to you, you're gonna put it forward, kind of in a diamond shape. You're gonna place a pillow one more time, if you want to. And then inhale, lift your chest up high, slowly walk it forward. Find a comfortable position. If you're not so flexible in your hips, uh, I'm actually, I'm, I'm not that flexible there. I might need like another pillow. Feel free to do that. Feel free to add some blocks. I'm actually gonna do that. And we're gonna stay here for about two minutes. Watch your thoughts. Watch every sensation of your body. Observe what is limiting you from reaching your full potential. What scares you? What excites you? What drives you?
Why do you do the things that you do? Why are you here? Why are you practicing today? Just ask questions to yourself without judging them, of course. And I'll get quiet once again. Close your eyes, 30 more seconds in here. If you feel that your body is open enough, you can go a little deeper, feel free to do that. But always be aware of the intention of why are you trying to get deeper into the position. Slowly come all the way up. We'll release the pillow. Now bring now the knees together to touch. Put your hands behind your chest. Open through the chest and walk your hips forward. Open your feet at about shoulder width apart. And let's windshield wiper towards the left to release all that tension that you might be feeling on your hips from those two deep stretches. The first one was a little bit more focused on the outer hip and the second one more on the inner hip. If you want to add a little more, once you go towards the right, use the opposite leg to push it. Once again, be aware of your intention, why you're doing that. Is it because you want to get deeper or is it because your body is asking you for that movement? We're gonna go into a, a pancake or a straddle forward fold. I'm gonna sit back. You can keep facing the mat. If it's too hard to sit like this, standing tall, you can put something beneath your seat bones, a block, or if you're in your bed, you can just put a pillow uh, behind your seat bones. Find a comfortable position. Now, inhale, raise your chest up, put the hands behind your head and side flex towards the left don't crunch but keep an extension imagine the your right rib cage coming up towards the sky and you know place the left forearm in the mat so you can relax into the stretch also relax your neck If this is too uncomfortable, you can just lower the hand down. Once again, find a comfortable position to be in. If you wanna go deeper and you feel comfortable going deeper, you can twist a little bit more towards the right. Try to grab the right foot and just relax into the stretch. But it's gonna be here for like one minute. If you're actually doing this variation with me, try not to be right here, but open up through the chest. There is no reason to grab the foot. You can just be right here. I just like this. It feels good for me. But that doesn't mean that it has to be feel good for you. Slowly come all the way up. Now square the hips towards the left leg. Inhale, put the pillow on the outside, on the inside of the straddle fold. Now inhale with your hips square, fold towards the left leg and relax to the stretch. If this is obviously too intense, you can just put the pillow on your knee, you can double down on your pillow. Just find a comfortable spot. Make sure now that your hips are facing in that direction. We're just gonna hold here for about a minute and a half or so. Close your eyes.
slowly come all the way up release the pillow the blocks or whichever thing you're using i'll turn towards the right and once again the left hand is going to go behind our head the our right form is going to get all the way down into the mat if you cannot get your right form towards the mat you can place a pillow you can place a block still a position that feels comfortable this one is actually not comfortable for me so i'll just be here inhale rise your chest and then side flex towards the right your hand can be here you can also extend your arm you can also put the arm in the opposite direction whichever feels good we are stretching all the left side of our rib cage and left side body left oblique and other muscles that I don't want to get into that. Try to grab the foot. I mean, don't try to grab the foot. Find a position that you feel comfortable. Just relax in there for about a minute and a half. Slowly come all the way up, turn sideways towards the right, square your hips towards the right leg, inhale, put the pillow right here, that feels good, inhale, create extension through the chest, through the spine, round forward until you feel it, stay here and just observe. If you're doing yin yoga the right way, I would say, it's about getting to a place where you just feel it. You are just good right there. And if you are in that place, if you find that place, your body itself is going to open up for you. But if you go past beyond that, your body is going to do the opposite and it's not going to allow you to actually reach further. And in this case, we are not trying to reach further for flexibility purposes even though you're still gaining some flexibility in your body, but we are actually, uh, we're releasing many, many chem chemicals in our brain uh, that actually make us feel calm, that actually relax our nervous system. And in my take, that's how I see yo yin yoga. That's why I practice yin yoga from time to time, because it really serves you to calm down that nervous system that it's so fired up by all the things that we do in the day 30 more seconds in here don't judge your thoughts allow them to come and go there's a big difference between awareness and thinking. You can be aware of everything without having to think so much about it and without having to identify yourself with whatever you're being aware of. And the less you think, actually, the more aware you can be of all your surroundings and yourself and others. Slowly come all the way up. What is up guys? Thank you so much for watching the video. This is a clip straight from the SM Academy. For watching the full video and for more videos like this, you can click the link down below and sign up to the Academy. We have already more than 100 classes worth of content ranging all the way from full calisthenics program, yoga sequences, meditation techniques, mobility and flexibility protocols, nutrition guidance, hand balancing. We also have a Facebook private community where we all they all post their progress and we comment and we support each other. Uh, we are still in beta price because I do really want to give all of you guys a chance to sign up uh, and be part of this community at this low price. But the price will go up to the regular price, which is $29 a month very soon. So if you really want to join the SM Academy and want to be locked in that price, the price that is currently right now, uh, of course, unless you unsubscribe and we can give you a refund. 
please, please feel free to just click the link down below and that's it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up to support the channel, share it with somebody that's struggling with mobility or flexibility or just wanna improve their overall health, physique and well-being. And let me know what else you wanna see on this channel and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.